guys, my name's Taylor. I'm from Tent World's Furniture Gully store. And for today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Black Diamond's Revolt 350 head torch. So this head torch out of the Black Diamond range probably has some of the most features in it. It's quite diverse and convenient. This one comes with a three year warranty and it's available in olive, black, gray, blue, and red. Um, so let's take it out of the box and we'll take a closer look at some of these features. So when you take your torch out of the packaging for the first time, it's gonna come with a little instruction book, which will also fill you in on the run times and certain settings and how you can use things like strobe or lock feature, red light, things like that. So definitely hold on to um, the instructions. Next thing you'll find is a little USB-C cord which you can use to charge up your head torch. Now I've already removed the tab from this torch but in the backing it should have a little insert in here. Don't worry about that, you can just pop that right out, it's not going to serve any purpose. If we take a look at the side of the head torch, We'll see it's got this little tab here. If you just flip up that little plastic mold, that's where you would plug the cord in to charge it. The cool thing about this uh, head torch is you can charge it with the cord or you can use AAA batteries as well. So if we open this little tab on the side here, we'll see it's actually at the moment got one of the rechargeable batteries inside. But if you want to remove this, that's where you would then uh, place the AAA batteries if you wanted to charge it that way. So unlike most of the other Black Diamond head torches, it is worth noting that the Revolt doesn't actually come with AAA batteries. So if you are wanting to use them, uh, you will have to purchase them separately. But I'll just show you how you can pop those in. So again, we'll just pull open this little latch and you will take out the rechargeable battery. And then, yeah, you can just pop your batteries in the backing here and it should be good to go. There we go. So I'll just run through some of the light settings with you guys quickly. If you want to have it on the lowest beam, simply just tap the square button up the top once. If you want to go up to the higher setting, have it turned on and then you just need to hold down the top and it's actually got like a dimming effect. So we're on the highest setting now. You can actually see the light dimming there. So pretty nifty feature that you can sort of really modify the light as much as you wish, depending on what you're gonna be doing. So yeah, very unique and cool feature of the Revolt 350. So another cool feature about this head torch, which kind of sets it apart from a lot of the rest of our range, is that it also has this battery meter on the side. So it's got three little lights here, which will just tell you when you need to recharge um, the battery that comes with the torch. As I was mentioning before, we've got the little battery meter on the side, and it's pretty cool because the amount of uh, lights that are lit up will indicate exactly how much charge is left on your battery. Um, so if you've only got two lights left, you know that you can probably go for well, a couple of extra days or something like that, but when you're down to one light, you know it's definitely time to recharge because you've only got roughly about one to 10% left. Um, so that's good that they get a little bit more specific with exactly how much charge time you have got left on those. I'll just show you guys some of the cool features with the light settings on this now and how you can kind of activate um, the different brightness levels. As at the top here, we've got our main square pad, which is essentially just our on and off button. And then we also have this little locking feature, which essentially means if you want to constantly have your torch on red light, for example, you can select red light, leave it, and then every time you turn your torch on, it'll be set to red light. So if I press this once, we can see we've just got kind of like a medium beam here. But the cool thing is if you press it again, you can actually dim the light to go this is probably the lowest beam here. Press it again and it can go all the way up, back up to the brightest beam. Now, if you wanna activate the red light or just isolate it so you're just using like this top um, beam, for example, you can press the locking feature and it should alternate 
between the different light settings like so. So now that I've got it on the red light, if I turn the light off, turn on again, like I mentioned, it should always be set to red light. If I wanna have it on this top beam, turn it off, turn it back on, um, it's locked onto that light. So again, you'll just press this little locking button mechanism to select the beam or light that you want, turn your light off and it should always be set to that. And again, you can just change back to the standard light if you would like to hold the square button down and you can dim that light down as well, which is a really, really nifty feature of the Revolt 350. All right, so if you wanna activate the strobe feature of this head torch, um, you can just select which light you wanna use. I'm gonna use the red light so the camera uh, man doesn't get blinded by this torch. But essentially, once you've got the light on, if you do a quick double tap on this, hopefully I get this on the first go, Yep, it'll start strobing. Uh, and then if you want to turn it off, just press the square pad again and it'll stop strobing. Um, so you can't lock in the strobing feature, you do have to activate that uh, when you wish to use it. But again, the strobing feature can be used in any of the three light settings that we just went through previously. So as with most head torches, the backing on this one is also completely adjustable. We've got two little adjustment points on there. You can also remove the strap just by poking it through these little slits here in the backing and you can just hand wash these and let it air dry um, if it needs a clean. So if you have this torch on the lowest light setting, it can run for up to 34 hours. And if you have it on the brightest setting, it can reach up to 82 meters. If you did want to have a look at any of the other stats for lumens or how far the light can reach, um, how long the battery can last on different light settings, definitely check the information on our website. Um, and I'm pretty sure you can also check out the instructions from our website as well. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend checking that out. Um, thank you so much for watching my video today, guys. Hopefully it's answered any questions you may have had about Black Diamond's Revolt 350 head torch. Of course, if you do have any more questions, please feel free to give us a call or check out the information on our website. Thanks again for watching and happy camping.